Hello everybody and welcome. Today I thought we'd start a new series of some sort of serious talk where I kind of get down to the nits and grits of kind of what bothers me in games and how I like to play certain games differently to what most people would like. So today I thought I'd move on to some of the more realistic FPSs and I have to get the disclaimer out there that although you can see Battlefield in the background, by no means is it the most realistic of games you can play. You know, we have things like armor, we have uh, DCS, I believe it's called. You know, there are multiple different realistic military simulator games that dedicate themselves to military simulation that can be played. However, they are played to a specific level that sometimes is, you know, maybe gets out too serious and maybe out of the enjoyment range. You know, if you want to play for five or ten minutes before your dinner's ready or something like that, then you're not going to be going and joining an Armour 3 server or a DCS server because they last, they can last for hours. You can be marching to locations, waiting on tanks, waiting on helis, which is realistic. But as I say, you're not, you might be waiting for a long amount of time. Something like Battlefield or Call of Duty, you're going to be using, um, you know, to pass the time if you don't play them as your main game. And I don't play Battlefield very often, and I don't play COD very often, but they're games that can be enjoyable and fun to play, to an extent, or from how I feel. I prefer Battlefield to COD on the general rule that I find it a little bit more realistic. Uh, I like Planet Side, and as well, again, it's not something I really play, that, uh, I've ever played that much, however much I like the game. For the same simple reason of... The amount of time that is required, similar to armour, to be able to play the, for the full military uh, style and actually get into the game and be to the extent when you feel like you're fully fitting in and doing as much as you can to support your team, takes too much, too long of a time in my opinion. Something like Battlefield or COD allows you to kind of just jump straight into a battle and kind of, you know, fight your way out. But, let's take Battlefield for example. Is Battlefield played in a way that it should be? So, there are certain maps, and this map isn't necessarily the prime example. This is Siege of Shanghai. I'm playing as Assault. I'm using the SAR-21. I think I'm using a 44 Magnum as my secondary, uh, and I go with the healing and the defib. And the reason for that is because I like to see when people are down, I like to go and revive them. I like to give them health where I can. But what I don't necessarily see in things like Conquest and Rush is people working as a team. I mean, you, you look at the chat, you look at the text chat and you see constant shit post um, kind of comments of people you, you know, going through and saying why they're so amazing and um, you know, why, they, why they're why they so good at what they're doing um, you know, and, and how they can be better uh, if than anyone else and you know, when it comes to looking at a specific game like Battlefield, you'd expect them to want to work as a team. There's an XP system where if you play better, you're going to be, you know, better rewarded. And there's only one way to be better in something like Conquest or Russian, that's taking the points. And the only way you can take the points is if you work as a team. Yes, you can take them at one person, but you're going to get mullered when they come round to defend it again or, or you know, take it back. But I never find any kind of team mechanic in these kind of games, even though you'd, you'd expect that that's the kind of thing that they'd kind of try and portray. Some maps in Battlefield allow you to kind of differentiate yourself with different types of players. The support players are able to go to a certain location. I can't remember what, it is, what map it is, but it's the big open, grassy, slightly deserted map um, with the big... And a big kind of trainway going through the middle of it, and there are a, there's like a village on top of the hill, and that village on top of the hill often has pretty much team deathmatch. You know, you go there, and everyone's camping in. You know, that's fine, but all of the other points around the map just get left open. You know, if some whoever's captured those points are always going to be the team that 
you know, have seem to have them for the rest of the game. You know, there's no... There's never an attempt to take those points back. The only things that ever go to those kind of locations are tanks and helis. You know, there's never anything else. And it's, it's weird that, what, you know, why people do that. Um, you know, why people will only go to one location when another location is quite clearly, you know, being taken. I would like to say as well, you know, in regards to the footage in this gameplay, I'm not trying to go out there and get, you know, hundreds of kills in a game. You know, it's nice, but it's not how I see the game to be played. And I'm not that good at shooting people in FPSs. I'm not that great. Um... I like the I like them more for working as a team. I like them more for suppressing the enemy. I like them more for the tactics that they use. Hence why I'm sat on this, you know, you know, I'm sat on this, you know, shielded HMG, you know, overlooking, you know, for for a few minutes or so, you know, just just to make sure that if there is anyone, they can't push up, you know, playing the game how I feel it should be. And I don't know about anyone else, and I don't know how they feel that the game should be played any different, but. You know, I sometimes feel that how this game is played j just, you know, is nowhere near how it should be, and it spoils my en my enjoyment. And I don't know whether that necessarily puts a bad light on anyone else, and you know, anyone else in regards to the game, and you know, puts you off playing these kind of games. And yes, I can go and play armor, and, and yes, I can go and play DCS, but. Sometimes you want a little bit more of a relaxed game, you know, but still people are putting the effort in kind of thing. And I know you can play ranked, and I know you can do this and that, but it never feels the same to me. Things like having all of the tanks going to one location, you know, things like having the helis. You know, you see the helis and they kind of just fly around and dogfight each other. And then you've got the planes who dogfight each other. You know, that's fine. But what if you're being heavily suppressed in a in a point? You, you're going to want the helis or the planes on your team to try and help you. You know, if they are being dogfight, uh, then... And, you know, they're being followed, then, you know, maybe that's fine. But you'd want them to kind of help you out and, you know... Protect you. That part in the video is a complete failure and uh, quite funny, but, you know, just being able to call on a heli for support, being able to call on a tank to go exactly where it's needed, not just kind of in the call cool location, you know, which isn't necessarily fun for, you know, people if they're just constantly dying whilst trying to protect the base, trying to do, you know, this and that, when there are other people who just won't, won't okay. offer to help. You know, these are kind of my views on the game and um, on FPSs that kind of require more player, player base and teamwork than others. And it's not that I don't like these games, but I feel that they should be played, you know, a bit different to others. And that's just how I feel. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to being able to see how you guys feel with this kind of debate side of games and fingers crossed you enjoy it enough and uh, if you do you know, drop a like and uh, subscribe if you're new around here. And if you do have any views on how you feel Battlefield or, you know, games like Battlefield should be played or maybe how they could be played differently, put them in the comment section below. It's, it, it even happens in things like, um, you, know, you know, the World War Two shooters where, you know, you see people who just do not play as a team. I've played games like Verdun, the World War One shooter, and only a few times people have used the voice communication, decided where they're going to go, listened to the team leader and, you know, worked as a team, and it's been great fun when that happens. But, as I say, guys, this is just my opinion. If you have any views on this kind of argument, put them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to feature them and, you know, reply to them and, you know, have a little debate in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing what you guys think. I've been Pete Bush, and uh, hope to see some responses.